Hi again, just wanted to kind of walk through the acid flow calculator as a whole to really just scratch the surface of what this thing can do. I mean, any all the videos that I kind of shared so far up to this point really is just the tip of the iceberg because I, I started to play with this to try to put together another story and I just, I'm looking at it and thinking, man, Todd really has tied in so much here that gives us an opportunity to, to tell stories and, and pull everything together for clients. Um, I was just kind of thinking through an example of a client, a uh, physician and his spouse uh, who, you know, have strong income. And if I put the income in there, I wanted to show you here on the in earned income and social security tab. If I put the income in there, uh, we can start it at, at said age and then kind of run it however long we wanted to. Uh, but what's interesting is I wanted to use this inflation button. Uh, and, and here's, you know, income taxes we could click on or off here, but taxes aren't on yet, right? Because it, here, I can add it here. And then here's where I can turn it on and off. Uh, but then Todd has a FICA Medicare taxes in here, which we can turn on and off and, and all the different inputs here for that. Uh, but, but I also wanted to show you that if we wanted to inflate this out, like, hey, over time, your income is going to increase, uh, we can hit the inflation button. But if you notice, if you hit that by itself, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to come up here where you can see some various buttons and earned income increase. We can say I can put in a percentage in there, zero or two, see it changes, or three, see it changes. Um, so let's just say I left it at two, so you can see it kind of increasing over time, right? There's just so much to potentially add here, and I would have to add whatever the uh, standard deduction is, or if they're gonna itemize, and, and stuff like that. So there's <laughs> have fun playing with this, but I wanted to kind of walk through a few other things. So I started to say, okay, you know, here's a life insurance policy that they're going to be starting, um, and I want to include that if in the summary if necessary, or at least include it in the data calculation. Um, actually, let's, yeah, so right-click in that button obviously changes this over here, or vice versa, right? So I can name it whatever I want, and, you know, if it's already in force, you can say current cash value, and then What's nice is that th this is just a simple breakdown of end of year, end of year, and then the annual number uh, that's expected on the growth and stuff. So, uh, and if I pull it into a summary, even though the summary is not really fully developed out, we can see, I, I'll take that off. We can see $200,000 going towards the policy. We can see an annual earnings. Uh, we can see what the, um, cash value is and then what the death benefit and other accounts are here, right? Because this is a end of year net value to heirs of all different accounts, including the, the death benefits if, if uh, they were to pass. And then you have total net cash flow, which would be um, pre-tax cash flow minus taxes minus the, the contribution to the policy here, right? And I didn't even get into expenses and stuff here. Uh, what I what I took off here was uh, I had a taxable account of the what's in the bank sitting there at zero, so they have 55 in the bank. So if I include that over here in the summary, you can see that it pops up there, right? Uh, if they had like a Roth 401k through work, because you know obviously they're over the threshold to contribute to a Roth IRA right now. So if there's a Roth 401k from work, I could I could include it here. If there was real estate and they do have a property and they're looking at investment property, so I would actually start to add that in here. But you can see that Todd has his full calculator up here that we would have to fill in, and then um, then it kind of ties in the loan balance and the cash cash flow that's going towards the loan. Also, the net the net income from the property or the gross income and the net cash flow. Pretty powerful. You saw me kind of go through the annuities in, in former. Um, in other tutorial videos here, so we have the whole annuity tab we can tie in if uh, if the, the client has annuities or there's a recommendation there. Uh, brokerage accounts, we can kind of put in here where you, we get to talk about you know capital gains and it, Todd's old joke of you know the stock certificate that fell off the the back of the the desk. That's where you get a long term capital gain, and then. Um, IRA and qualified accounts, 401ks, life insurance piece. There's an actual tab specifically for loans where we can tie that in because that'll affect cash flow, of course. And then we have the expense tab 
here where we can tie these in and work with a client to kind of budget and kind of that can, if we really want to do a cash flow calculation using earned income, social security with the expenses um, or earned income and expenses, or I was going to say earned income, social security, pension, um, and then distributions here minus expenses, we can really use this tab to do that and then kind of pull it into the summary. And then Kim and Todd have their prosperity flow through account where you can kind of tie in an earnings rate if necessary and uh, and various flows there that kind of pull pull into the summary at the end. So I really hope these videos have helped. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more that I'm able to develop over time, but this is just like I mentioned, this is just scratching the surface. So have fun with this calculator. Uh, play around with it, get familiar with it, start to think about how you can tell stories with it to clients and lay this side by side because that's really where the p power and value of this thing is is showing um, you know with without scenarios, without your advice, with your advice and uh, how it changes their overall prosperity. So here's your prosperity and let's work together as a uh, community to continue to help Todd to spread to, to build this out and we can all spread the message. Talk to you soon.